What's up Spartan? This is Kuya Red again and welcome to Red Spartan KHTV. I'm, today I'm going to teach you something new which is uh, the title of my, my video for today is Let's Learn ICT with Red Spartan KHTV. And this level is good for grade 3 students who would like to learn about uh, information and communication technology or ICT or in some other school they call it like computer class so so before we begin don't forget to subscribe and click the notification buttons below okay so again welcome to red spartan cage tv and let's begin <laughs> Welcome to Red Spartan Cage TV again, and today uh, we're as as we go through our unit one of this lesson. Uh, the title of this unit one is uh, Computer Fundamental. Okay, so first is these are our goals or objectives after we finish this lesson. So. The first uh, objective is to be able to describe what is computer and also we have here name the type of computers. Number three is explain how a computer works. Number four, uh, state the uses of computers and number five, state the advantages of computers. What is a computer? A computer is an electronic machine and around in our house we can see different kinds of electronic machines aside from computer. But computer is very different from them. Different appliances such as TV, washing machine, rice cooker, refrigerator, those are electronic machines. So here we have our computer. So computer is, an, is also an electronic machine but in a very different way so later on as we go through we will go deeper what does the computer means okay and what is its uses so here we have some types of computers so the first compute the first type of computer that we have here is desktop computer which is uh, very common in internet shop or computer shop Next is laptop. In laptop, uh, laptop is a kind of desktop computer, but which is uh, easier for for a person to carry whenever they travel or whenever they go somewhere. This is the easiest, uh, easy. This is easier to carry than the desktop computer. Next is uh, a smartwatch. Mm, nowadays, uh, a smartwatch is uh, commonly used by teenagers or those people who would like to access different apps in their phone by not using their phone, but using a smartwatch. And we also have a smartphone, which is uh, very useful right now in our lives because you can access different kinds of application that will help you to you know make a better way of living such as ordering food checking uh, social medias watching uh, movies or videos and easier to call someone not just only voice call but also video calls and we also have tablets like smartphone so next is parts of a desktop computer so we have here different parts of desktop computer and we're going to discuss these uh, basic parts or the main parts of desktop computer so we have here system units we also have our monitor and also our mouse and keyboard printer and speakers 
And next is how do electronic machine works? So here on the electronic machine, just like a washing machine, a washing machine takes a dirty t-shirt and then wash it and then give us a clean t-shirt. The same, uh, this washing machine has the what we call input. So we input our dirty, dirty t-shirts into washing machine to wash. And then later on, as the output, we after uh, as the output after we wash our clothes or our t-shirt it will be clean so that's our output another example calculator so we have here a calculator takes two number adds it and give us the result so if if we input two numbers example 2 plus 3 the calculator will calculate it and the output the calculator will give us an answer which is 5 okay next is computer of course so in computers we take in data input so we are we type we type different letters or numbers those are what we call data we type the information, those are data, and then work it out. So the computer will process it for us, and then the computer will produce the information as a word. So the, so the computer will put it together so that we will be able to read it. So how, that's how we, uh, that's how computer works. So we have here uses of computers. First is to type documents, which is we usually do, or our teachers usually do. Next to draw. So we also we can also use computer to draw, and also for us to play. We also have another uses of computers. We have to learn. Of course, most of the students right now and most of the kids right now, they learn through computers by watching uh, YouTube. Means uh, by watching some uh, social media or by watching some video clips, which is very informative. Next is we use computer to watch movies, of course. And we also use computers to listen the music and we also have here uh, the uses of computer to send emails send messages through chat and to view some web pages so it's not usually it's not most of the time we use email or social media such as Facebook or Instagram so those are the uses of computers. Unlike washing machine, if you will if we will compare the uses of washing machine or calculator, washing machine will just do the washing and calculator will just do calculate the numbers. But when it comes to computer, computer has a lot of uh, purpose or uses in our lives. As I said, to play, to learn, to chat, to send an email, to view some web page, to watch some movies. Those are the very useful or uh, those are the very helpful uses of computer to, uh, for us. Next is computer in our daily lives. The computer in our daily lives, we can, uh, we can see computers in our daily lives through education. So in school, most of the schools they have their own computer and teachers are teaching them how to use computers next is medical services so most of the hospitals they save the records of their patients in the computer so it will be easier for them to uh, 
look for the data or the past or previous data about their patients. And also, we also use computer uh, in scientific research. So, uh, most of the scientists right now, they use computers to find out some uh, uh, discoveries, some discoveries in their research. And also, we, uh, we use computers in industry, industries. So factories, actually they use computers. And there's no human error. So they use robots, and which is controlled by the computer. Next is office. For those parents who work in the office, most of the time they stay in front of the computer. And communication, of course, uh, just like telecoms, such as different kinds of uh, telecom company. So here in Cambodia, we, we have smart, metphone, and cell card. Okay. So next is some advantages of using computer. So when you use computer, uh, there are some advantages that all of us can can benefit on it. So first is email. So the email is faster. So compared to the mailman, of course, email is just like one, you just type the message and then click enter and then send. Compared to the mailman, mailman will take like three days to a week or months before you receive the message. So yeah, email is better than sending your letter through mailman. Okay, so that's, that's the first advantage of using computers. Next is, next is visual and visual, audio and visual. So in computer, comparing to phone, but right now we have our smartphones. But before, if you're using like an old telephone, you, you can just only hear and you can all just only speak, speak and then listen and then listen to speak and that's the there's only two ways so you will not be able to see who you're talking with but with the use of computer with the help of the computer we started to see who are we talking with so it's not just only audio but also visual using our eyes next is less paperwork Yes, that's true because when you have computer, most of the time you are just going to type all of the information that you need in the Word. But before, we usually write all of the reports using the uh, on a paper. So it will stack up all of the papers. And you know, using computers will help us to save the earth. Alright. Next is online news. So before, our fathers, our uh, grandma, grandpa, or let's say our parents, uh, used to read the news through through newspaper, or sometimes they have to wait until six or in the evening to watch the news on TV. But right now we have our computer, we can access different news through online. Okay, but of course we have to be aware that some of the news are not true. Some of the news are fake. Okay. Next. Uh, using computer is very helpful also when it comes to what? To when it comes to researching. So before, uh, so, uh, during my time when I was young, I usually go to library and then do some research, find the books that is uh, that will that will really help me to find my answer on a certain homework. But that will take time and. So, and sometimes it takes the entire afternoon or the entire day just to research for the correct answer. And especially if you have reportings, reportings in class 
on the next day so you really have to work hard when it comes to getting more information but right now through computers you can you you are just one one click away you just type what the, the 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 inquiry or the questions that you would like to get an answer and then Google will give you the possible answers that you would like to know and next is we have here interactive so computers before which is right now we we are using some traditional way of teaching uh, teachers are still using traditional way of teaching but but right now there are some teachers who are using an interactive way of teaching they are using a a board which which is just like a touch screen board where the students will be able to touch the board and then the screen will change so yeah it's very useful for the students and uh, for them to learn faster uh, so so here's our uh, goal for today our objective I, I think we have finished all of the lesson that you must learn for today uh, first is I describe what is a computer and what are the type of computers uh, what are the names of the type of the computer and I also explain how a computer works and I also stated the uses of computer and the advantages of using computer so again this is Kuya Red and thank you for listening in Red Spartan KHTV. See you on the next lesson, grade 3. Bye-bye.